and welcome back to another edition of the Red Match, where this weekend, Queen of the South take on Dunfermline at Palmerston Park in the third last game of both teams' season. This exact fixture hasn't exactly brought many goals in the last couple of games. The last three times these teams have met, the scoreline has ended 0-0. This game could easily be a carbon copy of its last three attempts by being another 0-0, or it could massively surprise us and produce goals on the pitch. Although, I don't think that one will happen. With Stephen Doby out and Dunfermline lacking goals throughout their team regardless, it's set to be an interesting match. So I'll now hand you over to the match day coverage, live from Palmerston Park. Bring on the action! Well, Palmerston just up ahead. School predictions in, as per usual. No looking forward to the game, but let's see what other folk had to say about it. For Queen Lister versus the firm, one will be one each. I think uh, Queen's will take lead. I think Josh Todd will score a penalty and the firm will equalise. I think Bruce Anderson will score a header. Prediction for the Dunfermline game against Queen of South on Saturday is 1-0 Dunfermline. I think Bruce Anderson will redeem himself after the penalty miss on Saturday and score the winner. My prediction for the game against Queen of South is 0-0. No, no. It's just always a score when we go down there, but hopefully we can win. If I don't know, it means my chance of Falkirk getting relegated. That's a positive. The last three games at Palmerston between us and Queen of the South have been 0-0 nil -nil draws. I wouldn't be surprised to see the same tomorrow. Hopefully we'll see some goals though, so I'm going for 1-1. One -one. You're about to see some classic association football matches from Scotland. They're cracking day for football. If the football doesn't make up for it, then at least the weather is brilliant. Oh no! Good save, Scully! Go face! Oh! Oh fuck! Oh! <laughs> Honestly, what a lot of shape we are, man. What a lot of push. Pretty lackluster half of football that one, but here's a look at the rest of the scores at half time in the league at this point. As you know, Queen of the South are currently 1 0 up over Dunfermline Athletic, it's goalless at the Falkirk Stadium, and it's 1 0 apiece at Inverness and Partick Thistle. I'm getting word that the second half is about to commence, so I'll now hand you over back to the match day coverage. Let the action continue. Another 45 minutes, here we go. On a pass, on a pass. Go on, ref. Hey. Oh, we're just wide open all the time. There's a goal. Hey. What a shite, man. Sponsors choice of Queen's Man of Mines, number 
number 21, Ian Wilson. And there's your final score, Queen of the South 2, Dunfermline 1. Well, I'm just home, and as you can see by the clock just there, it is half past eight. And I'm just done with the day. <laughs> I'm done with this season. I really just want us to be safe, and the only way we're going to do that now is by getting anything in these next two games. Obviously, that's Morton at home next week, which is a massive game, and... If we've got any intent of even wanting to be safe in this league, we should go all guns blazing to win that game. If not, get a draw, and then we're safe anyway, hopefully. But oh, it's just so depressing. How are we even in this position? We've had so many chances to even get in the top four this season, and we've fluffed them at every single chance. Imagine if we hadn't had those five wins in a row, for example, right? We would be on 26 points as it stands, and relegated literally relegated and I don't know where that those type of results and performances have gone I know there were a lot of shit at the time anyway we weren't playing great in the run of five wins in a row but I just don't understand how we can be this bad there's no player out there that even looks like a player it's just so depressing to watch I couldn't stand it the day the best thing about it was the weather, that wee bit with the Queen of the South player and the ball boy, and pff, the consolation goal at the end, just, it's nothing, it means nothing to me. But anyway, that's it for this video guys, so cheers for watching, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on Dunfermline once again, how shite are we, and subscribe for more of this type of content, until the next video, which will be the last word tomorrow, I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.